Looks like it's done. Looks like looks like we're live, Jerry. So I'm gonna go do a couple things, and you can tell everyone what they're gonna watch in this session. Yeah, they are. They're gonna watch. We're gonna talk about Dr. Ever Switch today, man. I'm excited about it too. It, it's funny because um, I think Switch is kind of misunderstood and uh, hasn't been given its fair due, and it hasn't had the acceptance that I'd hoped it would. Um, I, I beta tested the thing for several months before it came out and fell in love with the tech. It's crazy tech. We're gonna talk about that. But um, I, I love the doggone thing. And uh, it's one of my favorite things to hit. I got all the toys. We're going to go over them, have lots of fun with it, man. It's going to be a blast. And it I'm, is uh, a, it's an impressive unit. And it uses induction. And a lot of people were not familiar with induction whatsoever. And I mean, it's been around for a long time, induction has. True. It uses, uh, do, you know, do you understand how induction works with the, where it runs electrical current through a nearby field and it creates a field of like, inductive properties and the it, it magnetizes quickly the the uh, conductive metal the conductive atoms in the material and it creates these little eddy loops where the the electricity has nowhere to go so it just causes like whatever the metallic thing is within that induction range to, to heat up because the electricity just really doesn't have nowhere to go but it, it, it does does induction it makes things hot without anything touching so what's so crazy about the the switch is like you you put your dab down in here inside this this little cup you know, and this part doesn't get hot like you you when you're done in there like it's it's not it's not this part that's getting hot like it just runs electricity through through the coils inside the glass that you can see if if it's wet you can really see it you can see the the coil there down in there yeah electricity runs through there and it's uh, it's alternating current so typically battery powered devices use direct current correct is that right like plug-in plug-in units are, are ac batteries are, are direct current dc but induction uses ac so there's a converter where this converts like the the dc power to ac power to get the, the right amperage and all that so that's that's why this unit is is big and four hundred dollars and it's also why nobody has copied it like there's no other induction dab rigs on the market that actually work like this right the, there's the Loto Lux, which is more of like a dynavap induction heater with a, a metal nail hanging in the middle it's literally like a caveman implementation of an induction dabber no it's yeah not Loto Lux, but shit's weak <laughs> dabber switch <laughs> cool man thanks for thanks for explaining all that because quite frankly that the, it, it's like magic to me man i don't i don't get it it's like you know you push the button and shit magically gets hot so uh yeah i i call it magic so i'm glad you were able to come up with all that that's good shit <laughs> it, it is it is pretty magical i mean i've used it to heat my dynavap tips and that, it also broke my my switch like my switch failed when i was heating dynavap tips so, oh so yeah. Not recommended. Don't yeah, I don't recommend it there. No doing that, guys. <laughs> Yikes. All right. That's, that's funny. Well, I think that I think this thing's got an incredibly long shelf life. I mean, I think this thing could be on the market and relevant for a good 10 years compared to anything that else that comes out. Because it's just so far ahead. I mean, you look at every one of these other dab rigs that you and I dick around with. And they're all just pin technology blown bigger. You know what I mean? It's like that. That's like going the opposite. We had something shrunk down to use on the road. And then somebody said, hey, let's take that, and make it big and fun. Like, fuck no, man. <laughs> but we're doing it because it's cheap and easy. But this thing's crazy. I mean, it gets to heat instantly. I mean, you know, the, these cups here get going in just seconds, uh, the ones that come with it. Um, it, uh, it the, the, nothing gets hot. You know, I'm not going to burn myself anywhere on this thing. Um, I, I could if I stuck way down in there, but throughout the course of using it, there's nothing here is going to get hot. Um, carry it all over the place. Back to back hits all night long. Um, all night long. All night long, man. Great parties with this thing, man. You know, I mean, really, like I, I've been to a couple of parties where this was this was the featured unit and people people are satisfied motherfucker, all night long. You know, I, I was going to demonstrate I was going to demonstrate something kind of awesome with the with the dr deborah switch in this stream but it's too hot and i'm too lazy to, to find my power cable i have i have two switches here and one of them one of them's dead like one of them the battery the battery is completely dead i left it i left it in party mode where where it just like 
Oops, this is the no, nope, this is the good one. So I just I just left it like this on my shelf. So it would be like <laughs> you know, just you like, can, man. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I left it like that and now now it's dead. Like now now the battery battery's completely dead. It doesn't even light up anymore. What's amazing about the Dr. Dabber switch, and it's not really amazing, amazing, but it due to the way it works with the power, I can plug it into the wall and this device will become usable again in like five seconds. Like I plug it in and as soon as that battery gets enough charge to like light up some LEDs, the device is like, whoop, like let's go. And it it uses so little power that it can actually charge while you're you're using it. Like you can you can, I can turn this unit on right now by plugging it in. It would be dead. But by the time I got a dab loaded into one of these cups and dropped it in there, it would be ready to use again. And by the time I cleaned that cup and put in another dab, it would still be good to go. Like I wouldn't be able to make this thing stay dead just by by using it. I would have to like unplug it. And uh, and, and a lot of vapes are, aren't like that. Like a lot of vapes, if, if you pull out your vape to, to vape on it and it's dead and it doesn't have enough charge to work, you're you're fucked for at least 10 minutes, you know? Like even the mighty, the mighty. If you pull out the mighty and it's dead, you can plug it in and use it. But if it's that dead, dead, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, it needs at least five minutes or so, doesn't it? To maybe even more. Yeah, you know, look, pass through charging in this industry is is kind of a joke in my opinion. Nobody's truly doing it. They're basically taxing the fuck out of the battery, and 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 running power through it, and it it doesn't really charge while it's running even the mighty is 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 hard to do that with this one actually truly does it like i mean that's why it, it's ready as soon as you plug it in because it doesn't require that you charge the battery first so that it drains the battery as you're charging it just it just crushes it so and then even if you wanted to wait in 30 minutes it's fully charged so uh no really for an e-rig if, if you were a heavy hitter or, or you wanted to throw some parties this is really the only choice to really get it done right my opinion the others are going to run out of batteries and shit yeah i think if you want an if you want an e-rig like if you're looking for a, an electronic dabbing device that can serve a party that, that it can serve people i think this is really the only one on the market that that does that i mean i've taken the peak to parties you've done it i've gotten plenty of people high with it and that thing dies every single fucking time <laughs> I mean, I, you you were there. I, yeah. I had to, I carry I carry a battery pack with my peak, just so I can keep it charging the whole time. Because in a in a marathon dabbing environment where people are dabbing and then another person dabs and then another person dabs and then which is a great place to be, by the way, guys. Get into those spaces. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a wonderful it's a wonderful circle to be in when there's like an ounce of shatter on the table and shit like that at these parties. But when when your device doesn't work anymore. It's it's not so fun, and people like to to tease the, the torch and the nail and all that shit with their with their puffco peaks and their little focus cartas. But in the, in the long run, those those are uh, those are toys compared to what what really goes on. Like I I, I can't see the puffco peak satisfying a circle of dabbers for three hours. This thing probably could. I mean, I know, I know, it, I know it's capable of it. Yeah, it's got the juice for it. The only thing I would question is the satisfaction of the dab, and this thing can burn your dabs so hot and so harsh that it's hard to to question the whole satisfaction of a dab. Because a lot of times people people don't understand that it's more than just the capability to heat up your dab to the point of burning. It's it's a matter of balancing those calories. Uh, in the in the banger and vaporizing your material at the right rate that way it doesn't go from cold to too hot within three seconds you know you got to like bring it up the temperature let all that vaporization happen you got to maintain all those those thermal calories you, you you can't have an environment where it comes up to 600 degrees but then as soon as you hit it temperatures plummet you can't have those fluctuations and i think i think that's where the dr Diver switch kind of comes together because induction is a really different thing. Like if you if you try to put one of these cups into a Dynavat heater, you're gonna have a bad time. Like you're gonna have a really like it's it, this thing isn't just like oh they just put a coil on there and heat it up that, because that's what induction heaters kind of are for for Dynavat. 
know, like all these Dynavet induction heaters, tuning a, an induction heater to heat a Dynavet tip, pretty straightforward, in my opinion. Tuning an induction heater to serve multiple dab experiences with different surfaces and different dab amounts, that's impressive. That's impressive. And, th and this thing has like 25 settings per mode. So yeah. there's, there's crystal mode, there's normal mode, there's dryer mode, there's advanced mode. Mm -hmm. there's, sim there's, no, there's simple mode, which is 20, 25, or no, just five. Well, the standard out of the box mode is just five temps and they, they, they're pretty separated throughout the spectrum because it goes yeah. from like, like 320 to 800 degrees uh, is the range. But then you put it into advanced mode and now you've got 25 temps, all of them 20 degrees apart. And then um, if you end up getting the premium cups that require quartz mode, that mode has 25 temps. And if you're one of those guys that's going to use this with dry herb, there's 25 temps for that too. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about the dry herb thing last because one, once I use this thing for dry herb, it's going to be time yeah. to clean it. It's going to be time to air out the garage and it's probably going to time to brush my teeth. And <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But speaking of which, it's time for me to load a dab in this puppy because I'm really Yes, time, so. yes. Let's, let's start with a dab. And I'm going to go with the stock cups and talk about them for a sec because I like these things. Um, you know, I've got them all here. We're going to use them. They're a lot of fun. We got the smooth ceramic, which is the premium cup, but the cheapest one. So that's pretty nice. Um, the uh, sapphire, the sick, and then my quartz, I just got, I haven't even used it, but I have it here. So we've got all those. And then the stock, which is a, a ceramic coated titanium uh, cup. Every one of these premium cups is what you're used to. Uh, if, if you're a dabber at home, they taste fucking great. You're going to, you're going to swab them out with a Q-tip. You're going to ISO them clean. If you're real careful, you can torch some of them. The sick can handle it. These two, it's your own fault if you break them. This thing here is totally different. This thing you load it up and it's going to, it's going to, it's going to bake everything out. And if it doesn't just hit the cycle again and it'll bake everything out. And then when it's done, it has a self cleaning mode in here where you light it up and it does it. And I'm going to show you that in a sec because it's dope. Um, it doesn't taste as good as these, but it doesn't taste bad. It's just that these, these, I mean, look, you guys know how it is. If you're at home dabbing off of a, a straight up surface versus one of these sick or, or quartz things, they're awesome. Um, but what I like about these and what I use them most is uh, because they heat up quicker. Um, they taste good enough. They're just not pristine. And uh, man, the cleanup is a breeze, man. Like I actually don't like cleaning up the nice, I have all these nice cups. I did, they're, they're, I don't like cleaning up dab rigs that much. So I don't use them as much. This thing, I'll use it every time just because it's easy. So um, I'll show you, man, you just knock off a, a, a rock here, whatever you're rolling with and drop it in. And then uh, the reverse tweezers are perfect for picking it up and loading it in. Just drop that puppy in. It goes right into the bottom of the well there. And then uh, I'm going to use this carb cap because I just got it and I fucking dig it. But um, let's see here. Uh, can I hit it so that you can? I can probably do that. Let me see if I can hit it and you can do that. Perfect. I'm going to be able to look in there with me. Hit it, Jerry. Yeah, man. So it's in red. When it's in red, it means it's heating up. And when it changes to green, it means it's ready to hit. Uh, it'll stay in green for like 10 seconds or 15 seconds and then it will start back to the party dance mode or whatever light mode jerry's in to let him know that it's it's time to either re, re yeah it goes for i want to say a long time like 20 20 seconds or so but you can adjust it yes yes you can adjust it i forgot i forgot about that uh, you can adjust it yeah i never do adjust it that's why i always forget so that was a real quick hit now check out that the cleaning mode is dope though man you basically just push the up button and then push it again and hold it in it'll go all the way up to the top of the yellows and hold it in until it turns red now witness <laughs> it's just going to go up to about i think a thousand degrees and it's going to burn all that shit off and then i'm going to have a perfectly clean little white cup down there you'll see it glow and then I just go right back to town. It's, it's, it's easy to go ahead and switch strains that way. Or, or if you just want to do it after every dab, because you're that kind of guy and you can, why not? Uh, it does wear out the battery. Um, but I did a session or a, a battery test once where I basically did a cleanup, a, a cleaning uh, run about every four or five dabs. 
and I got 50 dabs plus all the cleaning sessions I wanted before it was time to change the thing. And the temperatures were all over the map. I was, I was scaling up and everywhere. So, so now that's ready to freshly hit another one again. It's good to go. I really like that feature. I, I, I really like the self clean. Um, it's, it's handy because for one, those, those, the cups that come with the Dr. Diver switch, the surface is a little bit rougher. It's like, it's not, it's not a smooth ceramic surface like the, the premium cups. So Q-tipping them out isn't necessarily the best option. And also mm -hmm. when you're, when you're trying to dab out a whole bunch of people that that shit can get old real quick, uh, just hitting the, the, the two buttons and, and busting into self cleaning is, is really handy to get that thing back to like brand new. And I, I did self cleaning mode over, uh, over and over again, uh, on those, on those things, expecting it to like eventually fuck them up. And eventually they did, but I, it wasn't the self cleaning mode that, that killed my cups. It was physical abuse. Mm. Like one of them got smushed, and it, and it caused the, the actually the both both of them got smushed enough to to cause the the ceramic surface to chip off a little bit. So both both of my oh, wow. both of my it? yeah both both of my stock cups. Whoa, we're upside down. Hey there. <laughs> that was a physical adjustment. That's great. So yeah, my my. Stock oh, cup. yeah. Wow. I've never yeah, seen that before. Uh, I won't focus very well because my lights are off right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this later for, for dry herb. And I'm not going to do any dabs with with the the OEM cups. But I want to talk about that. Like, because out of the box, out of the box, the Dr. Dabber switch comes with the, the clear peanut glass mm -hmm. and a, a straight, straight bubble cap dabber like this. And two, two cups, a, a black and a white coated ceramic. They're not the premium cups. They're the ones that you, that work in self clean mode. And I, I'm a little bit more of a dab snob than than Jerry is. I Absolutely. think. Absolutely, I love you for it. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice about it, dude. For me, you're my lord of the dabs, bro. I mean, I don't expect you to love the stuff that does it for me because, I mean, I know you've been kind of sewing that shit out for years. And I've been avoiding dabs. Like, they're... I remember. I remember. Kind of new to me, so... I remember when oh, I was... Brother, school when me was, all you want on dabs. <laughs> I, I remember when when we had the Puffco Peak, and I'm like, hey, let's have some dabs. And you're like, uh, I don't really dab, but okay. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man, bitching me up. I love it. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah, that peak was great coming out of that bag too, man. I enjoyed it. So, and 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 when I say I'm a dab snob, I'm I'm not trying to create a, a class. I'm simply trying to not be mean about dabs because dabbing is dabbing, and I think when when you experience concentrates over a long period of time and you have a, a bigger variety, it's easier to spot the differences between them, like in between you know subtle differences in the experience or even big differences in the experience. Differences in flavor from byproducts, different differences in how dabs are actually made and extracted and treated and aged and cured and you know there's there's a lot of a lot of variables and some sometimes sometimes there's a, a a lot of low quality dabs and low quality dabbing methods around that people just don't get to uh, realize or aren't aren't as good as they could be because perspective. So if I can if I can improve perspective and and share that with community, everyone will have better dabs. So that's that's my goal. I'm not trying to be like dab snobby. I I want everybody to have the best dabs possible. I appreciate that. And and what works for me with the switch is if you don't like the stock cups, you can get these other ones that do what Troy wants. You know what I mean? Like we'll talk about this later, but I mean this is an expensive rig. And when you start adding on all these goodies, I mean the the rigs that Troy and I hit are seven hundred bucks. <laughs> it's up there. Right, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit mine now with the the stock glass, and I'm not gonna use the the OEM cup, but I'm gonna use the quartz. And this is like a hundred dollar upgrade. Uh huh. So it's a, a a quartz insert that goes inside the titanium cup. And what's cool about well, what's what's cool about it is you you get that beautiful quartz banger taste. It's a, it's a, a nice, sharp, crispy, you don't taste any, any off muting or any off 
tones, you get a nice terpy quartz hit. It's a little slower than the other one, but by no means is it slow enough to complain about. Honestly, the biggest downfall for me with the, the quartz uh, upgrade and all of the upgraded cups, honestly, is you lose you lose the self cleaning mode. Like mm -hmm. you can no longer use the self cleaning mode, uh, and that's that's kind of a bummer. But you fall in love with that, man. It's a I nice know. feature. I guess as soon as I had my first dab comparing the the default quartz or the default ceramic cups and the upgraded quartz, it was like fuck. Like there's no way I'm going back to that ceramic cup. Right. I mean, it, it may have been fine before, but once you taste the difference, or once I taste the difference anyway, it's like nope. Even even with self cleaning, like I, I really miss self cleaning. No, I hear you, man. Look, if I have something that I really want to taste, I'm not going to use the stock cups. I'm gonna grab one of these other ones. If I'm using something that I'm just trying to get in and out and get a quick dab to, because I'm, I'm I'm shooting for the for the feel, man, these stock cups are great for that. Because uh, I mean, because, listen, man, cleaning sucks. <laughs> and there's and this, the rest of the switch is easy, man. I mean, all you got to do is just swab out the inside of this thing with a with a with a wipe. So, um, yeah. I, it's it's funny, dude. The the, the self cleaning mode on this thing is so good that it's it's the reason I use the stock cups. Like it's it it it's finally somebody made it easy. I do wish it tasted like the others, but like I said, I don't always have concentrate that I give that much a shit about. You know, a lot of them are just kind of meh. But when I get something good, like I have right here in a minute, I, I will break out the sweeties. Like we're gonna do tonight. What are you loading up? I am loading up some cherry fritter. Cherry fritter, fuck yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. It's uh I I I bought I bought a bunch of dabs just for this stream that was supposed to happen last night. Sorry about that, by the way. Uh, oh no worries, man. Happens been, especially been, not your fault with the weather. That's crazy, man, how hot it is there. Dude. It's nuts. We finally turned the AC on at two in the morning last night. Nice. Finally caved. Someone's like, eh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so I, I want to point out that the, the default carb cap, it, it's just a, a flat glass disc. Mine's dirty as fuck. I apologize for that. Uh, with a hole in it and a, a silicone seal around it. I think there's been some variations with the whole Dr. Diver switch silicon thing. Like my, my glass just sits on here straight, but they send, they send these silicon gaskets that can be used or should be used. I, I don't what know. I'm oh, he's Jerry's got one on there. Good. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, yeah, I can go through this while you hit that if you want. Um, yeah. You know, it, when the first thing first came out, it was just this and we were testing it this way and it worked great. Um, and they had this carb cap and we had this little white thing on here that was a pretty good seal and that worked. Um, but it, it never really got that thickness that, 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 that we wanted. And as soon as we put this seal on, and then uh, that that made a huge difference. And then when we got to the upgraded carb caps and couldn't use this anymore, we needed this thing. And this thing works great with those. If you use both these seals, you will have an airtight system that, that, that does make a difference on the hit. Um, so that's why I do it, because I'm looking to thicken it up. Um, if I were to go just all glass and this carb cap here, <laughs> kind of a weaker hit. There you go. That's what we're looking for. What temperature are you using, by the way? Oh, that one. Very good. <laughs> what was I on? I, I would think I was on like a one there. I was only on 440 right there. Let's see, because it starts at... Yeah, I was at four. 420 or 440 on my last tab. So it was kind of a low temp, which I like. So anyhow, I like to use the seals. Troy's rocking, whatever works for the carb cap and not the bottom. That's a good dance right there, man. It goes with my, my music. <laughs> There's a Popeye look. Which cup did you use? I think you used the regular one, right guys? <laughs> He's not recovering at all, man. I used the quartz. Oh, you did? Okay. But it was a little hot. Was what a little what hot. temp are you on? Uh, I don't know. 
this color. All right, you were. Oh shit, I was a little high. No, you were on. No, that, that's <laughs> where I am on courts. You were at about five sixty on courts, which is where I like to live, right in there. Um, this cherry fritter dabs a little lower temperature, I think. Who's is he? Nah, that's no. Uh, that's about where I would be on the courts, though, man. Like I like to take the stock cups about a hundred degrees lower than the courts or or the premium cups. Um, the stock cups. Uh, so the stock cups, guys, they heat up like six or seven seconds. It's really quickly. But um, these induction coil here is only on the sides. So the cup gets hot on the sides, not the bottom from the induction part. And then it all just, you know, it, it, it equalizes. So when you're using these stock cups, that oil's got nowhere to go. Pooling is, it never happens uh, because the sides are already at the temp and everything else is, so that oil is just toast. So um, that's why the stock cups kind of get through everything quicker and you get uh, maybe a fuller hit with smaller amounts. Um, but it's also why I like to turn it down uh, because you know that kind of softens it out. So the one I took, Troy, was on 420 or 440 on a stock cup. You were at 560 on the quartz, which is where I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a quartz dab here and I'll be at about 562. So I don't know, maybe, maybe you had a whole bunch in there or something, but uh, I don't know. Uh, it was my first dab of the day. Well, that makes first safe of the day. This so, is my wake and bake, Jerry. This is this is your wake and bake. You just got up, huh? I did. I just woke up. Woke up quick. Oh, here, a quick tip, guys. <laughs> um, just thought that I got a stream with Jerry soon. There's nothing in there, and when there's nothing in there, it doesn't respond. It doesn't turn on. It'll change temperatures, but it won't fire because it has to have that in there to get hot. So that's kind of like the fail safe. I'll tell you, man, at least a couple times a week, if I'm using this throughout the week, I will do that and think it's broken. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And then I look at, oh, that never loaded it. I'm just trying to take, it's not that kind of magic. Yeah, at least load the damn thing. So if you don't load it, that's what's up. Oh, there goes my bat. Where's my bottom on this? I must have lost it over there. That's crazy. The it's bottom dangerous. comes off. Uh, it just twists and falls off with a with a magnet, and so mine is through all the charging maneuvered over there somewhere. Oh, this is kind of cool too, man. In the bottom, um, they've got these little instruction cards, and so there's three of them, double sided. You got instructions for just about everything: how to get in advance mode, um, how to set and hold your time, which Troy and I don't do, but you can do that. Uh, how to get into standby lighting and stealth mode. Um, how to get into leaf and advanced mode, ceramic mode, self-cleaning. It's all in there, man. So I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of hidden under here. So I need to put this on here because my battery fell out. That's what happened. So now I'm going to let up. A, uh, you did quartz. What are, you, what are you doing now? I'm going to show how to, that, that I can clean the, tor the torch clean. Woo! I'm going to show that I can torch clean the quartz cup to get it clean again i don't have to right now like i just q-tipped it clean yeah but what i like about the inserts is since they're separate from the metal yeah they're separate i just <laughs> i like how you did that they separate from the metal they're separate man in my head i was going to say separated but then i said like in my little my little teleprompter in my head i i, I typed separate so my my syllables the syllable clip that I loaded had the long A, the A, separate A. So I said separate. I like how How's you that? broke that down for us, man. Because, yeah, I was I was going to ponder that for a while. Yeah, I was like, why, why would he make that mistake? <laughs> why, would he, why would he say separate like that? So you can All torch right. clean these little little bitches. And Dr. Dabber switch. Dr. Dabber will tell you that you shouldn't, I think. But I got, I got a... I got a little spoiler alert. I don't think Dr. Diver is actually an actual doctor. I think he's, I think he's a Mr. Pib. So you can torch clean these things. Don't, Mr. Pib, I love it. Don't don't throw them around though, no, because quartz quartz is susceptible to shock more than it is to thermal shock. So when you heat these things up, set them down on a piece of cork, uh, cork or a piece of metal or some shit. Mm -hmm. Some bitch, perfect. Jerry. I need to get that going because uh, 
I have metal dishes, but I, when I torch them, I don't want to shock them. So that's a good call. All right, I'm going straight from ceramic to smooth ceramic. I'm going to climb the, the ladder in the order that I think it, it goes as far as taste. Oh, oh, we're good. we should do that. So I, I started with the quartz, which is actually, the, I think it's the best value. And I want to shout out, I want to shout out Cream City Vapes. Because at Cream City Vapes, you can buy, uh, it's a it's a Cream City Vapes version of the quartz inserts. But they're quartz inserts, and they work just as good as the real things, as far as I can tell. You can get like three of them. You can get like three of them for a hundred bucks. Uh, you gotta, you still gotta have the induction cup, though. I don't think they sell the induction. He he does sell the induction cup, but but they don't come with the cup. Yeah, the, he doesn't. He doesn't have a cheap version of the cup. He only has a of the insert. So you gotta buy. You gotta buy the real insert to use. Use the cheap cups with with the Cream City thing. Well, and, and the nice fine. thing about that is the inserts are all the same. So if you have one premium cup at all, you have the insert you need. They're all the same. You can mix and match these puppies all you want and put them in. So get any any one you want, and they'll all watch. It's probably not going to fit now that I say that. This one came with my quartz today. Is that a little off? It fits all my others. I swap them all around, and then it doesn't do that. That's funny. Interesting. So this is the the premium white ceramic. This is the the white smooth white ceramic. Uh, this one this one was probably the easiest to maintain, like short term for me. Like I noticed when I I, I was oh. I was gonna do a, a a video comparing the smooth ceramic with the quartz. Uh, back when I was trying to figure out what I was going to be doing with like my, my video content. And I was just like trying, I was trying to do what, I, what I'm doing now, honestly, Jerry, like back then, my, my video for my YouTube was just like turning out videos fucking like every day. I was trying to do that back then, but I wasn't happy with my content. So I, 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 I did a, a video where I compared the smooth ceramic with the quartz. And, uh, I found that like you could do three to, five to 10 dabs, depending on your temperature, depending on your concentrates with the smooth ceramic and still just Q-tip it out. But those same same concentrates would require more maintenance on the quartz. It felt like this, the white smooth ceramic was almost easier to maintain just by Q-tipping. And and uh, I don't know if you noticed anything like that, but I still, well, I still prefer the taste of the quartz. Yeah, I noticed that the smooth ceramic that I have loaded up right now um, it heats up, it, it doesn't heat up faster because they all use the same, uh, you know, the same temperature profile, but it, it gets there quicker in terms of oomph, like the, the, the smooth ceramic will, will get thicker, quicker, lose, lose, lose taste quicker, um, than these other premium cups, in my opinion, but still way better than the stock cups. So they're kind of like a, 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 a betweener. Whereas these are all like, like, these are all like, I think you could pick and choose between these and it's up to you. I mean, I've, I've done side by sides with the, the Sapphire and the Sick one day and said the Sick is best. And then I came back the next day and did these two and thought the Sapphire was best. I'm like, fuck, man, it's, was it Wednesday or Thursday? You know, so uh, you can get out of one of those and go, let me uh, hit this thing because that was the whole point of it. This now I'm using the, uh, which fucking card cap is this? I did the bubble last time. This is the, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's the mini decanter. Uh, it doesn't sound right either. I don't know what it is. But anyhow, Troy, you taught me, man. I always put the hole far away from here because then I can huff harder because it it, it, it it catches more in the airstream. You taught me that with the stock carb cap because I was hitting it over here. And then when I put it over here, I got much better dabs. And so I've always, because of that, just carried that onto this one as well. Nice man. I with that one, uh, the, if it's like the one that I have, the the hole. Oh, here, hello. The the hole is pretty big. I mean, that's like that's a top hole, though, right? Well, yeah, but yeah, I guess you're right. Never mind. And the bottom one on that comes straight down, or is it at the side? This one is to the straight. Come straight down. Okay, yeah, because I've got one of those somewhere. Pretty big hole, though. It's the one thing I don't have. I have another one of those that I don't know where it is. I'll have to flip for it. But anyhow, I haven't hit this yet. Bingo. So now this is going to take considerably longer to, to, to do. Um, when I heat this one up, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. When I heat this one up, um, 
it's going to take what maybe 15 seconds usually to get up there troy with the with the quartzy types and then uh the other ones are like half that so i don't know let's see but yeah it'll, it'll take longer i guess it's my turn to load a dabberoni yeah man put one in how many dabs have you had uh this is my second oh, okay I thought in my head I was counting that that was your third, and I'm only on my second, so. That's funny. Oh, here we go. All right, here. Here's my dab. I'm going to dab some strawberry banana. Some strawberry banana. And the uh, white ceramic. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's just a... It's a longer, slower boil, man. Um, that's that's smoother and tastier and creamier than the than the stock cups. It's a good size dab too. I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. So, have you how do you do you, do you load your dabs in the cup outside the the, the switch mm -hmm. and then drop it in? Yeah, yeah. You ever have it tip sideways or upside down? Um. Are yeah, you, and then I. And then I just use tweezers to, to load it. Well, I use the tweezers to load it and unload it. Um, I, 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 I just don't load it. Tweezers. I've had it going cockeyed, and I just use the tweezers to correct it. I usually I usually load the, the dab, and then I I nice Geronimo motherfucker, boo! And right I, on. And a lot of times it goes in there right, but sometimes it'll like go sideways and get wedged in there. That's fine unless your dab falls out. All right, I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade to the the decanter style butt plug. What I do sometimes that does suck is I will I'll drop the dab into the cup while it's in loaded position, and that really sucks when you miss. Because <laughs> I, you know, I'll hit one, and then I'm lazy, so I just drop one in, and then it hits the side, but the side's still warm, and it'll melt all over everything, and then I'm like, fuck, I can't even hit that. It'll just really fuck everything up. So then I gotta clean it up first. So. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, I have done that before. I, I don't did recommend a, that. I did a one gram dab in my switch, and I don't recommend anything larger. Ooh, that's than, huge. Than, I wouldn't do that, man. Yeah, it's it's, it's it was too big. You and crazy. I and I dropped it. I dropped it dab style. You know, like I heated it up and then I tried to lower it into the cup, and it went around and it was in the in the the glass well and on the outside of the induction cup and tasted like tires like almost immediately. It wasn't yeah. good. Yeah. It wasn't that's, good. That's never good, man. The video should have been titled How to Waste a Fucking Gram of Shatter. So now this is a pretty dry... Like, this shit that's on the inside of this white ceramic is pretty dry now. Well, I don't think that's gonna... Like, it, like it was never pool dry. Like, I don't think a, I don't think a Q-tip would have done it any good right away. So, what do you, what do you think about these glass upgrades jerry because i i, I kind of struggle because out of the box the dr driver switch like with this setup is is 400 bucks and mm -hmm. it performs it performs but the the glass the, the the peanut glass it's not it's not beautiful it but it, it works fine uh what i what i don't like is is the the airport like the little carb hole on the flat carb cap it doesn't put the air down in there mm -hmm. and I, I feel like there's a lot of air mingling with the vapor you know you're bringing in fresh air and it's mingling with the vapor rather than driving the vapor mm -hmm. and, I, and i feel like when you upgrade to the butt plug carb cap and i don't have the bubble cap you you have that bubble cap that and that one's like 20 bucks this is the one that saves the day bro yeah, so that one's twenty bucks, and this one's like a hundred bucks. To yeah. this one, th this one for me blew me away. I'm like, holy shit! I love the butt plug. Like, I, I love this carb cap. It it totally makes the Dr. Diver switch hit differently. Does that one? The, does the bubble cap perform as well as this? Um, I like it better than this one, but this one is not as low. It goes is not. It doesn't go as low as yours, and mine shoots out the side. Okay. Whereas yours is straight. So yours might perform more like the bubble, 
but this thing is legit jack like um because you can direct that right yeah and i only got it uh yesterday so i've only had it for a day but instantly and you don't even need to direct it that's the funny thing is because it, it literally just drops it right in the fucking cup so it's just and every time I, I take my finger off and give it some air. It's just, it's like it blows up in there. So, I mean, it's getting great flow now. I'm going to, I'm going to compare how it does looking at the remains. You know what I mean? Cause that'll be interesting to see, well, how did it do as far as really cooking and moving it around? But, but it's 20 um, bucks. Yeah, but it's only 20 bucks. Now they're hard to get. Like they're not, they're not, that's, that's one thing is this shit. I mean, it, when this shit runs out of stock, it runs out of stock for a while and it'll happen on occasion. So these things are just now coming in stock. I think if you can get a bubble cap, fucking get it. Uh, it's only 20 bucks and it's a, it's as good or better than any of the other high price carb caps and does change the day compared to the to the stock one. Um, I'm, I really dig this fucking thing. So in, in my opinion, Jerry, honestly, I think I think the switch should just come with the bubble cap. That'd be dope. Like, I, I think I mean, I, and I, I don't have it, so it's hard. It's hard for me to say that. But if it if it makes the difference that this these two things made for me and that's only 20 bucks they should they should they should get rid of this fucking thing and and only include that thing because this thing not only does this thing break as soon as you drop it like these glass glass welds this is my second one (laughs) yeah me too and and i've seen so many complaints like look people looking for alternative carb caps for their switch because the original not only does it suck with that airport like it just doesn't do a good job. Like that was the. I feel like the the Dr. Deborah switch people just left this behind. That was like a, like, a three days from launch day, and they're like, "Oh shit, what about the carb cap?" Uh, you know, <laughs> I, 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 and then look, we'll we'll come up with a bubble cap later, you know. And then that's when they 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 figured that shit out, you know, and they they never went back and updated it in the box. I feel like the the bubble cap is a is a must, like because this this thing. Kind of sucks. I agree with you, man. Now, if, if, if you take this and you put it in instead, uh, what do we need for a dab tool? Do we just need any kind of little stick or whatever? Well, I think I think the reason they went with glass is because if you use the titanium or a steel right. tool You're while right. this was on, you know, it heat up your dab tool. But here's the thing. That, that actually works pretty nice. Because, like, if you turn this thing on and you want to get in there, your dab tool heating up for a second will just make your dab fall off your dab tool. That's true. You know? But it, you it, it does. It? Yeah. It works amazingly. Like, oh. your dab tool comes out clean. And, and so that's the way to hot dab. Is to drop <laughs> it in with something metal. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it'll throw off the math that's happening in the programming of the Switch. And there is a lot of programming in the Switch, you know? There's a lot of uh, a lot of code. Well, the heat thing though, I mean, it keeps it stable, and once it's there, it's there. So you know, once it goes green, you can just you're going to be at that temp. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting what they what they do is they um, the heating profiles basically just have have two phases, up to the temperature and hold it there. And so the 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 stock cups, that first phase only takes about five or six seconds to get to that temperature, and then it can hold it. These other cups that we're using, the premium ones, they take longer. They're heating up the metal. It's not bonded to the to the to the uh, surface that you want to dab off of. So there's a slower in the transfer there. Uh, plus, you're doing the whole cup, so it just, it takes about I think 13 to 15 seconds to heat those puppies up. Uh, I can be off on that, but it's it's in that ballpark. And um, it's a, it, it really is kind of a whole different experience. I fucking, I I want, which one are we going to load next? I want to load the... Wait, before, before we go on to the cups, let's finish the glass thing for a second. Because oh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to hit the ball, ball glass. And I didn't, I I didn't have... Mine. What, really? Yeah, I'm so bumming because I really do like it. Like that's, yeah. I, I like that upgrade. Yeah. And I, I didn't... I didn't really hate on the peanut glass other than, than it looking like a peanut mm-hmm. before. Like I thought, like, it's fine. You know, like for the way that it has to work with the over the top ca- catching the vapor, this, this is okay. It, it, it was the, the carb cap that I really complained about. But then, but then when I got this, I was like, holy shit, this, this really hits nice. And even mm-hmm. though it doesn't really change 
how it's pulling the vapor. Like it just, it, it, I thought it was a kind of a worthy upgrade. Uh, I liked it. I like the feel of the, the, it's got more of a purr, but not too much. Um, and then, uh, I thought the vapor was, um, I thought, I thought it was more comfortable and yeah, there you go. Those two things. I mean, I wouldn't say it was any thicker vapor, like you said, but I, and I, I thought it was good. Like, I didn't think it would matter. I really didn't because, you know, a lot of that stuff is just visual, but I like that one better. I was bummed. In fact, mine might be up there and it's, it's the elbow, right? Your little elbow that comes out, that thing took a whack and I chipped it. So it's mostly intact, but it ain't gonna work. Nice. Nice and tasty. All right, I'm gonna do, uh... man, they're all good. They really are. I'm gonna do quartz because I just got this puppy. Whew. So with, with how I did it there, with like, with, uh, plugging the the carb and then pulling hard, I got a lot more vapor from from this carb cap, <coughs> but it also made a little more of a mess. So on my induction, uh, code, I got you I got pull too hard. That'll happen. Yeah, right. Well. <coughs> There's the dance. That's funny. Running man is here. Running man in the house. It's a it's a little bit of a give and take, I think, because while it makes more of a mess, it also gives me a lot better of a dab. Like I, I just mm -hmm. get a lot more vapor density without crossing the line of the nasty flavor. Because a lot of times, that's exactly what's compromised with these little dab devices. Like if you want a big cloud, you're gonna get a little bit of that tire taste, you know. But yeah. uh, with, with the the mess making of the bubble cap, it uh, gives you a, a good experience without tasting shitty. <clears throat> Listen, those who seek high temps do it for a reason. You know what I mean? Um, it's it 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 can appear wasteful, but the effects are undeniable. <coughs> I might only know. All right, so I'm going Corte. Let's see here. What uh, what carb cap should I use? Should I keep using the the bubble cap because I'm not because it's new to me or what do you think, Troy? Should I just uh... actually I haven't used the stock one. Maybe I should do that. What do you think? Should I do that on the slower boil because this is the slower boil one? Sure, man. Uh, I just got done saying how I think the stock one kind of sucks and I think I they should know. include the bubble. I don't have yeah. the bubble. I need to get that. Right, does does Planet of the Vape sell that bubble cap? If if we can get it in stock, uh, it it either I, I I'm not sure if we have it in stock yet or not. It's been one of those tight one to get, but the fact that I have one here makes me think we either have it or are about to. Okay. I overcarbonated my water, and I can't drink because it fills my mouth full of air too fast before I can drink. Dude, the question to how many dabs does it take till Troy and Jerry start doing stupid things is two. about about two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here taking these fucking tweezers and going too deep and getting them all in the fucking dab. There's the there's the down below maneuver that yeah. worked that time. That was a perfect drop. I love the shirt, man. Get a shirt. <laughs> how can they get a shirt, Troy? Uh. Uh, I can put a link somewhere if somebody if, if you guys really want the shirt. I I, I kind of made it more of it as like a joke. But if, if you guys want want the shirt, I can I can put a link for the shirt. There's a link that. actually. There's a link to the shirt in my Instagram uh, bio right now because that's that's where I, that's where I last put it. I'm fairly confident that's there's a link right there. And I made it cheap. It's like $17. Like I made it almost as cheap as I could go. So you got the bubble cap. That's real cheap. Yeah. It's clearing it out. Oh, man. So verdict verdict on the on the glass upgrades, bubble cap, decanter, 
uh, different bongs. I, I would say that the bubble cap is, is a worthy upgrade. The decanter is a little expensive for what it is because it's like a hundred bucks, but it's the, these things are like hand blown, I guess. And they're pretty heavy, like it's thick, it's nice. Uh, worth it, but I don't, I don't have the bubble cap. I would probably buy the bubble cap before I bought this because the bubble cap is 20 bucks and this is a hundred. Yeah, if you can get the bubble cap, get it for sure. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. worth it. And the other ones, the other ones do improve it, whether it's worth a hundred bucks, that's individual, but the right. bubble cap's worth it all day long. Huge, huge improvement over over the stock carb cap. I think that's that's a worthy up, upgrade. The glass though. I'm torn. I mean, I like I like the ball rig. It hits a lot nicer than the than the Mr. Peanut, but Mr. Peanut does fine. I'm not hating on Peanut. Been using it all night. I'm with you. I do I do miss that thing. That thing was that thing was nice, man. I was bummed when I when I broke it. I have that one too, but I have this thing about not being able to see what's in the glass. I don't know. Me, me too. Me too. Especially after cleaning it. Like one time I cleaned it and there was just like half bag of Cheetos in there. It was just like crumbs. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. This felt like, like I, like I just had a dab with that, you know? <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, way to go, man. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, okay. So what, what I like about the different cups is, is they let you choose whatever you want. You can, you can, you can dial it in. If you don't like, if, if you don't like what it comes with, just no going in, you could spend 40 to 100 bucks getting what you want extra you might have to do that but um there's nothing wrong with the other ones i love them they just don't taste as good as the hundred dollar ones they're extra um we talked about these carb caps i'm just looking over our goodies here man so we're, you're, you're with, breaking out the best ones there we talked about battery life too <coughs> i haven't done a hot load though you can do a hot load you can do hot loads and we talked about that so let's 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 keep going on the cups Cool, because I got more to hit. That was only yeah. I, I want to get another dab going as well. Uh, so we, you talked about the 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 stock cups, and the stock cups are fine for probably most people. I would say honestly, like if you're not a dab connoisseur, mm -hmm. the the stock ceramic cups are probably going to be just fine. For they're you. not offensive. Yeah, by no means are are they like. There's no taste. Um, like that they that they give like they're not gonna you don't taste anything well maybe some some people claim that they can taste ceramic like some people like i can taste that ceramic and okay like what am i to say like it, it tastes is subjective so i think it very very well could just be placebo like people people that they know if they're if they know that they don't like ceramic and then they know they're dabbing on off ceramic their brain will tell them that it tastes different you know it's like it just happens that that's how placebo works and I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's it, it can totally be. If I if I know I'm dabbing off ceramic, I'm gonna taste ceramic because my brain is capable of doing that subconsciously. Everyone's brain is capable of doing that subconsciously. We all have to be aware that our brains can trick us very easily. So, just ooh, tangent. Well, there's a, no. That's a good one though. Um, the the difference is somehow I, I think, and I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it's related to that. This is kind of porous or it's a little rough, you know, that must do something to the boil that makes it a little less consistent or even and, and feel a little rougher. Maybe the only thing I'll claim is that on these premium cups, I taste things that I don't taste when I hit this one at the same temperature. Totally. Now, if I take this one and lower the temperature, I can get rid of some of that harshness and capture some of the flavors, but I still don't taste all the ones oh, for for real. that I do on these. So that's all for real. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that, that they all taste the same and uh, the rest is in your head by any means, because right. the, the, ta the difference between quartz and those stock cups is night and day. Like I, I, I as soon as I hit the, the quartz, it's like, Oh, it's like the lights are on now. The, the flavor lights, you know, like before I was dabbing in the dark. Now the now the lights are on, and all, and my tongue can see all those terps, like that. To me, that's how it feels. Right. Open shit up. But it, I, I think the mouth feel changes, like the way the way the vapor hits, and and where the intensity lies in the the overall 
like flavor profile. Like as soon as you start hitting the vapor, you start tasting it. And then the vapor gets more intense. You can feel it in your throat. Uh, longer in your hit, you can you can feel it puckering in the, in the back of your throat. You can feel the intensity in, in, in your ears. And then you feel it as you as you stop inhaling in your in your chest. You start exhaling. You can you can feel the terps in the in the front of your throat and in the, in the top of your palate, in your nasal cavity. You exhale. You can you can feel it out your lips and on your tongue and in your in your your mouth. All of those things change in subtle ways, based on like the material and the temperatures. It's getting deep, man. Right. Yeah. So like I, I, I found so. that like the the quartz the quartz gives you like the terpiest in the mouth like in the inhale you get that's where you get probably the most terps in like in my mouth this is for me it may, it may not be for everybody the most terps in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> but the the smooth ceramic is is almost as bright but more of what a, do we want terps exhale cloud. where do we want them in my mouth <laughs> that, sorry that one just got me get the design get the designers working on the on the terp mouth shirt that's right well, the quartz cleans up easier than the smooth ceramic. I got this quartz thing perfectly clean and, and two swipes. Jeez, where am I going? Nice. I, like I was putting it in front of your face <laughs> on my screen. Like, see. see, mine's mine's nice and crystal clear from torching. Oh, wait, this isn't the one I torched. I, I torched it. I mean, it is, right? Mm -hmm. You can torch the white ceramic as well, the one that uh, one I just used, which is now messy. I also have the sick and the sapphire. You have those, right? Uh, yeah, that's the last two I have to hit here. Which one are you gonna do? I'm gonna do the sapphire because I can't find my sick. All right, I'm gonna do the sapphire with you. I don't Dude, know what happened. Should I switch something up? Because I'm getting baked and like. Right. Well, that's the that was the intention. Right. right. I know. Should I switch to a different one, or should I just go with this? This stuff is great, by the way. Yeah. I've got some new, new material I'm going to use here. I don't remember what this one is, but I'll show it to you. Ooh. Oh, nice. That looks good. Well, look at that. From this angle, you can almost see through it. Yeah. No shit. And then from this angle, it's like golden. It's beautiful. Wild. Oh, I know. I forgot. I got my ACDC here, man. This stuff tastes great. I was saving this for just such a moment. So you're going to hit the the sick? Yeah. Sick dish? I, I really no, like... I'm going to hit the one you are. If you're hitting sapphire, I'm going to hit that too. Oh, okay. So between between the sick and the sapphire, this is the sapphire, by the way. This is a little white, yeah, yeah, exactly. white crystal. This one, to me, has the the best overall hit. Like this, this one is my favorite. Like I get the, the sapphire. Yeah, I get I get I get a pretty bright terp profile, and I get a really good cloud. I get a mouthfeel that's fluffy. Like a, it has like a, a a different fluffiness to it. I feel like the, the vapor from the sick is really bright, like quartz, and, and has like some backbone to it, but it's not fluffy. It feels more like a, a snap when it when it hits. I, I like the, the the bell curve of of the sapphire terp profile. It comes on, comes up, and then blows through. The the sick is kind of like ramp it up and fucking max it out and then drop it off. So that's the sapphire you like. The sapphire is the one that okay. I like. And how's that, but does the does, do you think the sapphire is? I mean, do you think the sick is much different? I just well, I just tried to explain. No, no, I, I know you explained it, but what, <laughs> but but do you think it's much different? You know what I mean? Like I, I I'll go back and forth between them depending on what. Oh, they, it, it's you know? there. There's subtle differences, you know. Like when you when you go dab for dab. Especially with the same dabs, you know, yeah, the same temperature. There's subtle differences, but you, you, it's and it's not about the dab itself. It's about how and where that dab is felt and tasted. 
kind of like the the sniff test, you know, for for, for the strains that we learned at the uh, yeah. interpreting at yeah, the Trichome kinda, Institute. That was a good time, man. Kind of like that. Like you smell your weed, and if it hits you down here, it's going to be more of a body high, and if it hits you more up here, it's more of a mental high. Kind of the same thing with the dabs. Not ex different talk here, but like the dabs, the vapor hits you and you taste it in different places through the the, the perfect drop pulmonary system right Ooh. man you know I, some shit man i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys the the geronimo drop i used to love doing this in my instagram streams what's that i would switch to this camera That's where I just was, right on. Yes. Beat it out. <laughs> Woo! Oh, is that upside down? Fucking A, it's upside nice. down. It's nice. completely upside down. How? How did it flip oh, upside down? I thought it dropped perfectly in. Shit, did you no, that? bro, it went upside down. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're fucking with me. How man. is that even possible? I thought you nailed it. How? Is... I'm watching the replay over here now. I want to see how that dropped. Well, can down. we get an instant replay? I'm looking over at it now. It's live on my on my YouTube. How the fuck did that? Oh, it did. Dude, what? It totally the... did. <laughs> It was like a cat, and you were holding it upside down, but it didn't have a chance. That was funny, man. <laughs> oh, God. All right. You so throw that thing all over. It's uh, in there now. Okay, so you're back right on. That's funny, I'm man. Uh, that's great. All right, so does that mean you're a carb cap away from rolling? <laughs> Do you know what you got your temperature set, man? Well, I'm, sticking, I'm sticking on 520. I'm, I'm sticking on the second of, of those blues. Yeah, okay, me too. Catch a card cap pick. Yeah, I'm going with the decanter. I have, I have, I have the mini one that you showed in black somewhere, and I had it. I thought I had it on my desk. I don't want to step on it or sit on it. That would be very unfortunate. That's true, man. I don't know where it's at, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with with this one. This is, yeah, you've been I, using I, it, man. I don't want to use about. this one. I don't want to use this one. No, I'm not doing anything. So for for you 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 don't have a, a preference between sick and sapphire? And maybe even quartz, but I, I think I like sick and sapphire best. But I, like I said, I just got the the production quartz in now. So I've been hitting this um this beta quartz bucket, which just has a band around it. It doesn't have anything on the bottom. It was just that whole thing is one load. And that's that's how they, they tested it in the beginning. Or they figured out the whole fit system and this works great but i don't like to use it in comparison tests because this has a different feel than what we're doing over here maybe i don't know so so i don't want to speak to that because i just got it until we run these through because we're about to find out so ready all right sorry i i didn't listen to what you were saying i i got distracted mentally and no worries man all you gotta do is dab <laughs> Hit that button. Here we go. Hey, you got a Dr. Deborah shirt. Yeah, it came with my Stella. Cool, man. I figured this is a good night to wear it, right? Yeah. Wait, what's on the back? Some shit about Stella. Oh. Is the Stella new or old? No, the Stella. Um, oh, the Stella. Oh, the new one. Yeah, that pin. The pin that we got here. Cool. I like this thing, by the way. It's really on the... It feels like a low temp pen, but what it is is an accurate temp pen, is what they say with their their shit they're doing. Hey, we forgot to mention that the Dr. Dare switch, you can change the light mode. I don't yeah. know, I remember how, but I'm going to try it real quick. Yes. You hold the left button, the minus button, and then hit the plus button. And the middle button will go backwards. It's like a toggle. What, really? Yeah, so if you skip it, you can go backwards. Oh my button. God. All these years. 
Don't you hate cycling back through? Once yeah, I figured that out, like, I was like, like oh, where's right where's the slow pulsy one? And then I'd be like, you run oh, past it was that it. one. Fuck. Go back at one, man. Yeah. yeah, it's got it's got so many different. That's cool the best motors. tip of the night, man. It's the only thing Troy didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's great. Are right, you ready, man? We get your. Oh, you're doing your light mode. I gotta find a cool, like. Oh yeah, I like this one. The little popcorn. That's like a little popcorn light change. Those are cool, man. Fireworks and whatever. Like a little poop, 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 poop. Ready? Ready to dab? Yeah, man. Yeah, hit the button. No, no, you're really ready. There you go. All right, sweet. This is Sapphire for you. Sapphire, yes. This is the Sapphire. Coming from East and West Coast. See little lights? Hmm? Oh, you did it perfectly, yeah. Uh, let's see if they go green around at the same time. You then, yeah, that was good. That was so nice, Jerry. That was so nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reheat it just to see if there's any left because it was so good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It was tasty. Me too. That was the best hit of the night. It was dreamy. Yeah, bro. Still, still going. You guys dabbing yeah. with us in the chat, man? You dabbing with us? That was really nice. That was really nice. Are we even are we even getting close to where the chat is on dabs? Like I'm always like way behind them, but is this guys like this is uh Sammy's in the chat. So yeah. she she's probably had like twelve dabs. Yeah, she's in a dozen already, so never mind. Yeah. Sammy? Sammy, how many dabs you had, Sam? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to swab that out now. While it's still Sammy, here. are you out there? Oh, fuck. What? 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 Oh, it's over here. So there's the uh, sapphire. I'm using, I'm using my own tweezers. I, I, I prefer these over the uh, Doctor Dabber. Talcos. Talcos. So, see, so yeah, it's still it's still an oil in, inside of my dish. Oh yeah, you do. So. Nothing, oh well, nothing in mine, but I kind of wiped it out already. I wanted to wipe it out. Somewhere. The camera is reversed for me right now because instead of. Uh, mm hmm. That'll fuck with you, man. Dude, it's weird. It's like a, it's like a, a, a video game. You know, like that, that's, never mind, tangent, mental wow. tangent. All right, so I got uh, one more sick. I'm going to raise the temperature and hit like a sloppy seconds, two, two notches higher. You can hit the sick. I can't that find it. That was really good, by the way. That was really good. I, I used my sick dish in a, an experiment, and I, I didn't put it back with my Dr. Dabber stuff, so it's probably misplaced right now. But yeah, that was really good. That one had for me because I, I I watch it as much as I I feel it. It had the 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 most even curve and flow. Like it was just it was just a nice smooth curve, and it never it never died. It just kind of yeah. kept going and going and going. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it has anyway. like a nice nice mouth feel. Mm hmm. That's that was that, that was nice. I like the sapphire. I like the. Sapphire. All right, so you're gonna hit that while I do this, right? Yeah, and since I'm jealous that you're hitting hitting sick, and I'm oh wait, you can hit the sick. I gotta go. I gotta do the dry. I gotta do the dry herb stuff. Okay, I'll let you do that. <laughs> I did that a couple shows ago, right? I'll let you do it this time. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna dab on the stick. Yeah, sick is sick is a pretty awesome material for for dabbing. Tell us about it, Troy. It's silicone infused carbide or carbide. 
I don't, I don't know what the silicone, difference is. Silicone carbide, I think, is what I saw. I'm no chemist. Shit. I've had a few e-nails with it, and uh, I loved it. I loved it as a dabbing surface because you can dab and dab and dab and dab and just Q-tip it, and it, it's it's uh, easy to maintain. Uh, you can burn it off, like, just by ramping up the temperature. Oh. Things will, will char up, and they easily, easily clean off. Uh, you can also torch it, at least... I always did, and I never had any issues. It's really, really durable. It has a really good thermal property. Uh, and yeah, it has like ceramic properties, but it also has metallic properties. It's uh, pretty neat shit. Pretty neat shit. Really good dabbing surface. Yeah. What he said, man. I am baked, brother. Like, that one there settled me down, but just as baked. <laughs> How about you, man? You starting to you you were you had that first dab, that first two dabs got you going good. Man. Yeah, I'm I'm I feel like I've been visited by the doctor. <laughs> that was lame. That was a dumb joke. Doctor McGillicuddy. You should hydrate. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, hey, I gotta I gotta hydrate. I'm I'm a little bummed that I that I can't find my my sick dish because I I, I would like to have a fresh comparison and try to explain the differences between the sick and the sapphire, but I, the sick to me hits closer to the quartz. Like it has, it has a, a brighter, brighter front end. That would make sense. I seem to remember thinking that one time because I mean, I've, I've done these two side by side several times. I was trying to find my cap. Enough time, times to where it's frustrating because <laughs> it doesn't, you know, I keep going, oh, but wait, they're pretty close. I, got I will lost say this: the, looking the for sick, my water cap. I was the like, sick is more durable, right? Which one's my cap for the water bottle? Oh, um, the white one. Yeah, that one. Did I get it right? Yeah. I had to think for a while, man. I was like really getting into the whole size and all that shit. I got confused when I looked down. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> was well, a good thing you asked me. That is straight. Um, no, isn't the sick uh, the most durable of these damn things? I think so. I think so. I was told not to, like, I was warned not to torch the sapphire, but I, I've been torching the sapphire. You've been doing it anyhow. You're like, fuck that shit. Yeah, I, I'm gentle with it. You know, I don't, <clears throat> I don't heat it up super fast. You know, I'll, I'll heat it out, outside the torch. You know, I'll like just kind of. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, bring oh, it up yeah. the temperature slowly. Oh yeah, I like where that was going. Nice, nice. nice. You got to You got to do it like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> the sick you can beat on, though, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I've I torched the sick as well. Uh, I've I'm pretty sure the instructions say not to. So I, I think this is them covering their ass, like covering their warranty. Yeah, I will say um, of all of these, the this one, the the smooth ceramic, cleans really easy with the torch, in my opinion, and it's a good thing because it doesn't Q-tip that well. So um, this one's good with the torch. I thought this little quartz one was easy with just a cotton swab, um, and the the um, the sapphire that we just did. I, I cotton swabbed and I can probably do that three or four more times before I care if I want to clean it. You know what I mean? Like that was good enough. A couple of little, little, little lines, but otherwise. So we'll see how the sick is. I'm going to do the same thing with a Q-tip and all that. So, well, hey, I'm ready now. I've had enough. Let me get a little more sip. Are you doing, you're doing your sick dab? Yeah. You ready to clean up that one? <clears throat> I, I hit mine. It's, it's toasted. I thought you were, oh, is that the one we were going to do? The last yeah. ones. You you can you can hit it and, and then you can give give the conclusion on your on the cups. Well, here we go then. No reason to delay that. Who am I to slow this shit down? Right. Right. And you're gonna you're gonna work the dry herb scene there. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the dry herb scene. Tell us what you know about that while I'm going green over here. Oh man, Jerry. 
So the Dr. Dabber switch, it, is it called the switch because it you can switch it over? Where is it? See, it's reversed in, in front of me. You can switch it over to dry herb mode. The other side of the switch is dry herb mode. I don't recommend dry herb mode, Jerry. I I think the Dr. Dabber switch is a, a, a dabbing device for me. Like I, I never, and I, I never do what I'm about to do with uh, with this. Uh, the induction cup that it comes with, it comes with two of them, white one and black one. You can take one of these and you can pack it full of dry herb and it's marketed as a, a dry herb device, a dry herb smoking device. It, I don't know if the box says vaporizer. Uh, I think what it does is somewhat close to some vaporization, but then it does some other shitty things as well. Oh, this the peeling of my my cup is falling off in my hand. I don't think they do that either because I remember looking at one. It's just called it's just called leaf mode. That's all. Leaf mode, yeah. It's uh, it's not not the vapor that you and I are used to. You know, it's it's not it's not a convection vapor. It's not a typical conduction vapor. It's not a typical hybrid vapor. It's it's almost like the borderline smoke. It, it's just like a weird. It's, a, it's like a smokeless smoke it's uh it smells smells funny to me and everybody in my family hates the smell uh-huh. <laughs> that's the truth man and as soon as i use this mode the device is going to become pretty much unusable and i want to go brush my teeth right well um okay so the sick um, that motherfucker went through the dab quick. That was more yeah. like the smooth ceramic. Like there was no slow boil in that. It was done in five or six seconds uh, a- after it went green. So whereas the um, the sapphire took me all the way through one and a half uh, sessions or whatever you call them. So um, and it was on the same temperature. So uh, it tasted the best of like the ceramic uh, quick heat ups, the quartz I'd have to hit again. Um, but the sapphire, I'm with you, man. Tonight, the sapphire was the hit of the night for me. That was really good. I like yeah. That. Um, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, okay. Troy's working that. He, yeah, you see how he packs it. Um, this leaf mode is basically just a reverse. You know, it's kind of like, well, we, we've got this dab thing. Can we can we do leave, you know the the flowers? And um, it, it basically conduction heats them. Um, I, I tell people not to not to use it if they like if they like vaporize them. Don't. There's no point. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't do what you think it's going to do. And once you think you're about to get what you think you want, it's going to taste smoky. So, or actually, well before then, it'll taste smoky. So, because um, it kind of goes like this: you turn it on, and you can you can hit it for like shit three five six different cycles if you want over and over and over again on the same temperature or you can run it up the temperature or you can hit to the highest one and have it in th- maybe two or three but it basically just zaps it from the sides and conducts it really quickly and radiates in and just kind of wafts up a little bit there's no real airflow to, to go through it so it just kind of wafts up and then you catch it with the airflow and you get this really wispy barely vapor in the very very beginning you might taste what you think is vapor but pretty soon it goes to nothing and then to mostly smoke with some vapor flavor if you're if you're a smoker it tastes great if you're if you're if you're somebody who's like vaporizing or vaporous you're not gonna like that and, and again you can stay on a low temp, which you didn't. Nice, and um, and have it have it be. I love it. I love it. You, if you go on a low temperature, <laughs> you just cooked it, man. You, it's it's no. smoke, man. It's like a fucking. <laughs> it's, like a... <laughs> it's not smoke. It's just gross. It's, oh, it's, shit. it's fucked up, man. Yeah, like like smokers say, it's smooth. Um, 
Vapor skill, what the fuck is that? And what's left over looks like coal, except it's too soft, like it's not very hard. So it basically doesn't, um, they, 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 they think it does pyrolysis where, because there's no oxygen airflow down in there, you're, you're not, you can go to higher temperatures without burning it. Who the fuck knows? All I know is it ain't that vaporizing shit we're talking about. And, and I think there's probably stuff in there you don't want, because to me, it feels and tastes like smoke. Um, it's some kind of vapor smoke. It's probably more like doing a joint where there's a, there's a little bit of vapor in your joint, you know, um, probably something like that. So, yeah. Now, what I will say is, what temperature did you have then on, dude? It wasn't that high. It was, oh, I was in the wrong blue zone. I wanted to be, I wanted to be right there. I was here. And that is on which mode were you in? I'm in dry herb. Okay, oh. so you're in, you're in pro mode. Okay. Yeah. Pro mode only. Okay, because that went really quickly, man. Like that was fast. Like what? What? When? When? When they want to claim that it's vapor, they'll tell you to start at the, like three forty. I'm like, yeah, but then that's just nothing for a long time. Um, and then by the time you start to get some vapor, it, it starts to smell like smoke pretty quickly because it starts to do it on the edges where, it, where it's just it's weird, man. It's weird. So um, I'm not saying there's not a place for it. I'm just saying it ain't what any other dryer vaporizer that anybody's ever used it does so the dabber is i love it for what it does to dabs and i think it's worth it as a dab this thing here that it does is i don't i don't understand this the, the appeal unless you're a smoker if you're somebody who likes to do dabs and smoke jays and that's it this thing man you need to run and get one of these things it's built for you i fucking love it if, you're, if you like bong hits and, and J's, you know, or bong hits and dabs. Uh, the one time I, I actually appreciated this mode, I was in a, fr a time frame where I was having a hard time sleeping and nothing was working. And I would, uh, if I needed to late at night, run downstairs, put this thing on one of the, the highest temperatures and hit that leaf mode with a big pack. And it would knock me out. Like it really, it's got a sleep effect here. I'll give it that. It gets uh, you fucking stoned. Like yeah. I mean, mode, like... You'll get that couch locky fucking yeah, you we're, we're, about, we're about to see. Troy's <laughs> Troy's already there. <laughs> Wait. So the effects are there. It's just you know, what's going in and out of you ain't vapor. Oh, hi camera. I got confused. I got confused there for a second. Yeah, me too. That was fun though. So yeah, that even if you start at a lower temperature though, like in that leaf mode, it um it has a funky, a funkiness to it that is just not, not the pleasantness that I get out of vapor. You know, like I love tasting like terps and that taste is like, it's, it's just like smoke without the, without the, the carbon or it's, it's like smoke mm -hmm. without the, so, the, the char. You know, yeah. it, it's 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 just a shittier version of smoke. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It, 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 I guess if I was a smoker, it would probably taste better than smoke, because it is it is better than smoke. There's a little it, bit of vapor in there that they like. That they'll they'll pick up some flavors that they don't get with straight up smoke. It it yeah. It has it has like that joint effect, mm -hmm. maybe. You know, like how like a joint has a different type of smoke. Yeah. Because yeah. it's also a vaporizer. You know. Yeah, that's what I, I was think, referencing. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I could see where maybe like dabbers who aren't interested at all in dry herb vapes could could buy the switch and try the dry herb mode, not having the the vaporizer perspective and background that we have, and not find that offensive at all, and just like, oh yeah, that's fucking awesome. That's that's like so much better than smoking a bowl. Mm -hmm. And maybe that will lead them down to a path of vaporization, which by all means, fucking awesome. That's a good thing. But if you're already into dry herb vapes, hmm, this is not, not a dry herb vaporizer you, you want to explore. No. This is an awesome around the house portable dab rig. And now I got to clean it because I felt, it feels like somebody who smokes kissed me. Like and and left ashes in in, their, in my mouth. It's like I feel nasty. It's gross. 
That's uh, if enough. you're if you're gonna do both, you're gonna want two pieces of glass, or you're gonna clean your glass every time you smoke it and switch back the tabs. Uh, I'll show you over here. Um, the is it going? There we go. That uh, you know, cleaning it. You know, the cleaning the glass is just like cleaning normal glass in terms of the bubbler itself. Um, but uh, hang on, I don't like where this is going. But um, this thing here is a piece of cake, really. Otherwise, I mean, you, the, the cups are easy to clean. Uh, the well, the only thing you got to do is get yourself a little, little wipe or something, and just kind of give it a wipe down. It's really easy. Just wait for it to dry, and you're good to go. Um, I, I love. I love that part of it. Um, as long as I don't smoke with it, it's a piece of cake to clean. And uh, yeah, you either want separate glass or, you know, I mean, I happen to have a, a, an extra one here because of the beta testing. And uh, I devote that one to smoke and the one to this because I just don't want to mix them. If that, so if I only had one, I wouldn't I wouldn't use it for dry herbs at all. I, I have multiples and I, I wouldn't use it for dry herbs at all. Yeah, there you go. That's funny. Have you seen these, Jerry? I have. I haven't used them yet. Are you about to use them on your uh, on your switch? Sweet. Yeah. Because since since I smoked out of it, mm -hmm. it's all yeah. It's got some some lines of nastiness in there, and this little alcohol Q-tip is perfect. Sweet. They're called like ISO snaps or something. Yeah, well, I don't know what they're called. I can't say their name yet because they're not available yet. But well, I think Dr. Dabber has a brand too. There's a couple of them out there. Oh yeah, yeah. nice. I, I know, I know. Candy Pens sent me some, uh, and then I, I, I asked them where I could link, link people because everybody wanted them. And yeah. they're like, oh, sorry, we can't sell them. I'm like, well, that's fucking useless. I'm like, why did you send them to me? <laughs> I hate it when that happens, especially when you like the product, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and everybody was asking about them, so I stopped using them. But now now finally somebody's making them available. So that's good. So yeah. Cleaned right up. Right on. And the other end stayed dry because I held it upright. So that's one hit, and you got to do that. Yeah, and the, and the glass, I got I to gotta wash it. I got to spray it with yeah. alcohol. But I, 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 I feel a different high, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. And I'm also not going to cry. And I'm going to try to stop rhyming because, fuck, sometimes that's a, it's a little thing that I do. Um, <laughs> but I, I feel more, like, more stoned than I normally do from, from dry herb vapes because it was closer to smoke. Mm -hmm. It was closer to smoke. Yeah, I mean... Look, we, you guys like you and I have chased high temp vaping for a long time because it, it's kind of what, what's left to get you those effects. And early on, it's what will get you that closer to smoking high. And this thing takes it even beyond that. I mean, it really is very close. To, I, think it's, I think it's smoking, except you get less of the shit in your lungs because there's stuff behind, you know, that, that you, that, you know I don't want that shit in there. There's a different leftovers. So it's just, it's funky. Um, did you, did you use the ceramic lid on top? No, I don't have that. I think that was... Right. Is that something that they actually offer? It comes with. And so... I don't um, think it does. It didn't come yeah, with it does. It's in there, man. It's in the box. It, did it always? Mine didn't. Yeah, I mean... I, I, I have think two it, of I them, it's... and neither neither came with that. Oh, I guess well, my, second one, my second one came just as a unit. Never mind. I'm pretty sure it does. Um it better because it's on the product description that way but um yeah so you got that little ceramic thing here that has a couple little things that you can grab with the tweezers i guess but the idea is you just set it on top of your dryer bowl and all that does is allow it to continue to waft up and if you pull too hard um you won't suck the herbs out um th that's what this helps you'll, you'll you'll hear it rattle if you're pulling too hard so it kind of lets you know what's too hard um but uh Troy, I think I remember when you told me about positioning the carb opposite the bubbler that um, you're able to take bigger hits with the dabs. And, and I, I found that to be true for me. I was always using it the other way. I was I always had the, the, the whole closer to the bubbler. And the reason was 
I spent most of my time with this thing, testing it, trying to get it to do dry herbs. And the, the, the thinking behind that was keep it close to the bubbler. That way you create less of a chance to grab stuff because it's very weak and you really mm -hmm. want it to thicken up. So we were just giving it more time to build up and get caught. And so um, I don't know which way you aligned. Well, no, you used the, uh, the butt plug, didn't you? So that one kind of went down in there. Dude, I wonder if that's why you got it to go so fast. I've never done the dry herb with one of these ones that goes straight in like that. I've done it with this one that goes off to the side, but I should try it with my bubble. No, I'm not going to do it. I don't want like that stuff. Next time, I, next time I'm tempted to do it, I'll do it with a bubble. Damn. Piss. Tuck myself in and out of that right away. Well, nice job cleaning, man. Uh, it still smells, though. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. Your whole place is going to smell. So yeah, open yeah. Up that garage door. Uh, it's n like 98 degrees outside. Uh, There's boy bad. bands everywhere. Appreciate the sacrifice you did for the show, hitting that smoky thing indoors on a 98 degree day when you're stretching it. Yeah, yeah. That's dedication, guys. That's that's hero's work right there, man. Yes. If this content helped you with the Dr. Deborah Switch buying decision, please use the link in the description so we can know. Uh, so we know from that second comment as well. Let us know what's up. What do we miss? What, we, what, what, what do you think about it? Man. You've got one of these and you're beating it up. I want to know what you think, man. Because uh, if you use this thing every day, you're using it more than me. You know what I mean? I've, I've got <coughs> all kinds of options and obligations, but I, you guys, you guys, man, I want to know what you think. All right, Jerry. I, I can't dab anymore because you smoked it. My, well, I mean, we're we're done anyhow. So I mean, that's all right. Yeah, but I I want to I want to send it out with a better taste than that. And uh, I have a second switch here, but I'm just gonna swap. The, you can swap the batteries. Nah, I don't want to. I don't. No, wanna. dude, that's like I'm, I'm instant. Good. It's I'm instant. Good. You put that battery in your other switch, and you're in your clean dabbing. You know how easy it is to do that? I do. Go for it. Show the peeps. I don't, I don't want to. All right, you'll <laughs> have to. I'll show them. I'll show them. The, the bottom comes off like we talked. You turn it a little bit in the magnets. And then your battery is uh, right here. That's your battery. So you just take it and swap it out of the other one. Goes back in. The... Uh, that's on the boom. That's all you got to charge ports back here. 30 mins max. I love the damn thing, man. You work out with them. Should do a workout video, Troy. Yeah, there you go. They're great. Everybody should have a bundle of dabbers. <clears throat> Samantha, Samantha Lynn said, not all heroes wear capes. Some review capes. Oh, that's awesome. I love it, man. Nice job, Sammy. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Some review capes. I like that. So what did you think of the cape, my man? Pretty awesome. Here's something... Uh, if you if, if you're familiar with the switch and you, you don't like that dry herb mode before we move on where the hell am i thing um before we do one more good dab this was the one that we had in in beta where um the cup actually had cuts on the edge so it wasn't all the way around round is this thing sure and then this thing, this ceramic thing had little ledges or little grips on the sides. So you had to slide it in just, just like this. You had to pack it and slide it in. And then it was on and it wouldn't flutter off. The point was that whole fluttering off wouldn't happen. Oh, yeah, it flutters. Yeah, I, I didn't think it mattered. I was kind of like, guys, we're, that's, it still doesn't work. So, you know, either way, lit or not, it's not going to do what we want it to do. All right, Dabaroonies. I'm going to have another dab of this stuff because this stuff was glorious. I'm going to go back to the best one of the night, Sapphire. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to open up a fresh, this was what I wanted to hit. This is a perfect way to go out, Troy. I'm glad you came up with this. This is my, haven't opened it yet. 
the crazy rosin, whatever the fuck it is, stuff that's called done. That I never, uh, it's always in the fridge. This is one of my fridge ones. Colorado Durban. Colorado Durban. Yeah, baby. I'll put some of that in the sapphire. Nice. I put whatever this stuff was. I can't remember the name. In my sapphire. I'm going to take the Man. glass off and give myself a little more clearance this time for the drop it like it's hot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this again. I'm going to try this again. Jerry. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna try to not flip it over this time? Yeah. I don't know to... why I got so lucky. I'll probably screw it up this time now that it, I've had such a good run. Oh shit! It. This is the one where they're gonna flake out. I forgot this this extract. The first couple hits are really crackly and they shatter all over the place. Yep. See that almost flew out. Look at that slab. Ain't no way I'm hitting that. That'd be into my week. Damn, that's beautiful, though. Mm -hmm. I so wish I that were my style. I wish this were my style. Wouldn't it be great if that were my style? Because that's beautiful. But that's I, beautiful. Dab it, Jerry. No, I Dab can't it. do that. That will no, that ain't my style. I gotta stay in my lane. There, there are, there are YouTubers <laughs> who do that. We're good. It went in. Oh, you got it. Nice work. Boom. That's how you do it. Please, get this no. camera pulled up. This thing's gonna fucking fall. One of the clips went flying. This is what I really wanted with that. Flying. Okay, so I'm about to drop mine. Uh, by the way, I, I didn't. You were talking earlier. I I, I didn't catch the. Dude, I'm on. Man. Interrupt. Hello. Earlier with the dryer, but I didn't use this. I used. I used the the stock. I didn't want to. I didn't want to smoke up my decanter. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you want to keep them separate. All right, I'm on the same tip I've been on night. And I used the peanut glass, so I didn't smoke up my ball glass. You didn't do that, right on. All right, we ready? No, I'm still in leaf mode. I'm still lining up so you can see my lights. Oh, you're in leaf mode, huh? Yeah, you got to get out of that. And you got to be in quartz too. Are you in quartz mode? What? Are you in quartz mode? Yeah. Good. What temp are you on? That's 800. Seven, six. Keep going. There. Well, where are you trying to go? You're down in the 400s now. That's where I am. Go down. Right here. You're at 620? Mm hmm. All right. I'm at 520. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> Sounds about like how our, our different dabbing style is. Exactly. All right, cool. You ready? <clears throat> I am ready. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's go. Wait, let me turn my, my vapor so we get, we get the Knight Rider lights in action. All right. Cheers. Ready? You Cheers. good? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Dwayne. That's dope, man. They look like they're going at the same time, too. That'd be cool if actually green right now. It all lines up perfectly despite all of the east west going on. I'm just watching the screen to see what happens. Oh, looks like a slight difference. If you guys appreciate this comparison, hit the like button. <laughs> Sapphire for the win. I'm going in for a clean up. <coughs> I die. I live for Debs. Whew. Whew. 
there's a there's a pace that works best with this combo. It's kind of a real slow pull. Mm, and that's right. really good, Troy. I like that. That's the that's the hit of the night right there, man. I've said that several times. It just keeps getting better, apparently. That's the way I do it. Keep getting better. End on that. That's the way I do it. I like it. I like it. Yes. I didn't believe so. That was fun. <laughs> It was oh, fun. Yeah, man. A little, I got a little bit of the like ashtray. Like I just dabbed out of an ashtray a little uh, bit. Oh, with like, the smoky. Yeah, it's somewhere. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. <laughs> I think this one's pretty good and clean with a swab. So that I'm going to slap dab. this little thing on it here and see how it does first. Take it out. There you go, Troy. I see you. How you doing, man? All right, buddy. I'm going to see how well this cleans up real quick with a swab. You can hear it hissing, right? Well, no, I can't. But... Shit. This is what you do when you've had too many fucking dabs. You get yourself in a place. You're like, what do I do with this hot thing I'm holding? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Well, I'm in here wiping this down. <laughs> I'm in here wiping this down with this air alcohol wipe. Trying to get this thing as clean as it can be. Ooh, that's a hot one. Still. Dang it. Oh, that's nice and clean. See? So there's there's my sapphire. Dang, you got some you got some oil in there still to hit? Is it or no? Uh, no, it's 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 toast. It's ready for cleanup. It's ready for, for Q tip tech. Check mine out after after an alcohol wipe. Oh look at that. It's that's uh insane. It looks better to me than it does on camera. I mean, there's little splotches in there, but it's right. Yeah, dude, I like these. Sapphire, rock and roll. Rock and roll. That's probably what I'll use most of the time now, um, as long as I have alcohol wipes to spare. Otherwise, I'm going back to the stop cups and being glad that I don't have to use that many wipes. Yeah. So once, once I did the the upgrade cups i can never go back to the stock but i always miss the i always miss the self-cleaning not gonna lie i hear you man so Dude, that was good man i like it i love the thing man bottom line i'm a, I'm a fan of the switch always yeah you, you've been using it legitimately like we we've been sessioning a few nights a week for a year now and uh, you you use the switch often yeah, I do like it, man. I appreciate the technology and uh, all the moves to get all the different styles accommodated. Um, it's expensive. It's big. Other than that, I, I love it. And and I'm, I'm cool with the size. Size doesn't bother me. I've got all kinds of big vapes here. But, you know, um, those are the two things that people complain about the most. And uh, so there's mine after a Q-tip wipe. Nice. Focus. Almost. But I mean, what can I say, man? Like if you're out buying, you know, top line glass, you're spending money too. I mean, this is top technology. Nobody else is making these things. They're, 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 they're hard to make. They're expensive to make. They're amazing to use. And they've got all these really good um, materials that you can upgrade to. If you want to go the directions, carb caps that work, you know, if, if you, if you want to spend the money, I forgot to dig it. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. And I think there are people making heady glass for it as well yes even, even with the big goofy glass joint i want to see some of that i want to find some of those yeah, yeah. i should get one of those i gotta find and get one because i'm gonna use this enough that'd be fun to have so. all right jerry i'm high as shit Hold yeah me gas. too man thanks we went we went we went way longer than we thought too man appreciate you guys hanging in there with us man you guys are awesome this is a fun this is a fun stream thanks for thanks for session along with us today sorry we didn't hit it last night it was just too fucking hot uh, we might have to figure out something because this, this is supposed to be hot for like a week for me so yeah I'll have to play things by ear for next friday maybe it's morning sessions for me and just as you're going to bed at three in the morning sessions over there maybe we're doing one of those hi <laughs> shit yeah, whatever. You know, man. Every now and then I go, I wake up and I'm like, holy shit, he just went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went to bed at five this morning. 
Damn, see? We're close there, man. We're close. I mean, I'd, I'd have to get up earlier than I do, but I could do it. All right, man. We'll figure out that time. But yeah, you guys are dope, man. Thanks so much, man. Hell yeah. A lot of thanks, fun here for, too. thanks for session with us today. Yeah, thanks, Liam, Nick, all you guys. Carrots. Good to see you, Carrots. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Fucking McSwagger. Loving it. Asia is in the house. Sada, Lord Zero. Oh, there's Hemp. What's up? Hemp Fayeva. Hell yeah. Look at all the good people. Yeah, baby. Pong. Lab Pong. Yeah, man. Rock and roll. <laughs> Lab Pong said that's that's my golf time. That won't work. <laughs> that's awesome, man. He's right. Awesome. Spicoli's right, got to get his pizza, man. Right, Cheers. Figure out the uh, the golf time. All right. Until next time. Thanks, Adios. guys. Peace.